everyone. Today I'm going to be showing you my personal favorite way to control any selected card to the top or bottom of the deck. This is the control that I use most frequently when performing. Uh, to me, it's just the easiest and it looks the best in my opinion. Um, so, as you saw in the performance video just then, what it looks like is you have a spectator touch the back of any one card, say it is the six of spades, you tell them you're going to take their selection and keep it in the middle just like so when in reality you've already controlled their card to the bottom. So again that looks like have them touch a card, four of hearts, you tell them you're just going to take their four of hearts and leave it somewhere in the middle but you've already controlled it to the bottom. So I quickly covered this move in a tutorial that I did about two months ago. Uh, it's a pretty cool trick if you haven't seen it I'm going to leave a link in the description box so go check that out but I wanted to cover that move uh, more in depth in this video. So, an exposed view of it, what it looks like is they select a card. Whatever card they touch, you're actually going to move that selection on top of the next available card. So they touch this card. With this hand, you're going to be moving it just like that and doubling the two cards up. On top of that next available card, just like that. Lifting both up as a double showing them their selection, the eight of diamonds, almost a spades, <laughs> so eight of diamonds, come back down, the thumb is going to pull whatever card is on top of the eight of diamonds over to this hand, as this hand, the fingers underneath pull that eight of diamonds over, and then these fingers will pull the eight over to this pack as you square everything up, and tell them you're pushing their selected eight into the middle, when in reality, it's already on bottom. So, quite a bit's going on uh, underneath the deck to get this one fluent move uh, down. So, you go through, have them touch a card. Say it's the ten of spades. Again, you're pulling whatever's on top of that ten over as you pull the ten under. And then let it drop and you pull it under again as you square everything up. And it's on bottom. So, I'm going to show you a quick under view, under shot of what it looks like from underneath. So what it looks like from the bottom, so you guys can kind of understand what's happening underneath the deck, is you go through, they select any card, right? Say it is this card here, the Ten of Clubs. You're pushing the Ten of Clubs on top of the Two of Hearts as you lift up to show them they selected the Two of Hearts. When the reality is we know they touch the Ten, right? So you're doubling up, they touch this card here, the Six but you're showing them they touch the 9. As you come back down, you're pulling whatever was on top of that 9 over. So you're pulling that 6 over as you pull the 9 underneath, and then pull it underneath again as you come back up and square everything up like that. And now their card's controlled on the bottom when they think it's lost in the middle. So again, you spread through in fast motion. This is what it looks like, the 6, and this is what's happening underneath, just like that and you square everything up. So again, they touch a card, say it's the Jack of Hearts, come back down, and that's the move, just like so. And it ends up on bottom. So I hope that helped out a little bit. Again, it's really just, you go through, they select a card, say it's this one, as you push over, you want to be lifting up at the same time. So kind of lift both hands in a way, have it a little lower, have the deck lower, about waist, about to your waist. They touch a card, say it's this one. As you're going to push it over, be lifting both hands as they kind of come together, and then just part ways with that one hand, showing them their selected card, the Jack of Clubs. Come back down, pull whatever's on top of that Jack of Clubs over. All in one motion, just like that, guys. At this point, you have a lot of options you can do. You can even control their card to the top by peeling their card away and act like you're mixing the cards up or whatever. You would obviously do it from this angle so their cards on the bottom. You don't want them to see it so you would do it from this angle here. Uh, you can even, you know, get a break underneath their card. Do a couple of swing cuts. Drop their card off on top. Give it a tap. And that looks like you've just shuffled the deck and cut it, but in reality you've controlled their card to the top. You can have it on bottom to cop away. You can have it like that and just 
cop it away. It can end up in your pocket, whatever. It can end up in your lap or, you know, whatever you guys want to do with this car control move. I highly suggest practicing it and learning it and using it because, again, you can just do it when they're staring at your hands. You don't have to use any cover. They've selected the card. You show it, come back down, and it looks just like that. So you don't even have to use misdirection or cover. They can... You got that difficult spectator that wants to figure out every trick. They're constantly watching your hands. You do that, you're going to absolutely fool them. Guys. Anyways, that's it for this video. I really do hope you all decide to practice this move and learn it and eventually perform with it. Um, if you did enjoy the video, please like and subscribe. It's greatly appreciated. And if you have any questions about the car control move, feel free to comment. I'll answer any of your questions. Uh, yeah. Again, if you enjoyed, please like and subscribe, and I will see you all in tomorrow's video. Thanks again for watching, and goodbye.